welcome to Madison HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. We're joined by women's golf head coach, Sarah Sargent, for another Coach's Show. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So we have really great stuff to talk about this week. In our previous tournament, we had our best finish of the spring, uh, tied for first with Western Kentucky and Elon at Moorhead State's uh, Citrus Challenge. So what did you think of the team's performance there? I was really happy with it. Um... Going down there, that golf course, I have good vibes there. I went as a professional there. And then when I was at Coastal Carolina, our team won the UCF Challenge down there. Um, so I felt like it was a good golf course for us. You could hit it a lot of different places and be okay. <laughs> yeah. So, and the greens weren't too quick. Um, I, was, I was very impressed with how they handled themselves the final round. So it's something we'd been working on, and I was very happy for our young team to be able to kind of hold it together. Yeah, uh, leading that charge were Laura Gomez-Ruiz and Maddie Cox, who finished fifth and sixth, respectively. Uh, what does it sort of do for the team? And, you know, a season where you've had your ups and downs, but they've been pretty consistent overall. Um, I'm very happy. Maddie's been cruising along. It's just going to be a matter of time, and I hope it's at conference um, where she just – comes guns a-blazing. Um, she's learned a lot from the fall to the spring on how to be patient. This isn't a game where you can sprinkle the fairy dust and run through it and everything works perfectly. Um, so for her, she's really working on that. Laura is finally getting back to the Laura that we knew. Um, like I said, for the previous tournament where she almost won, um, this is the Laura I know. This is the Laura I know how to coach. The Laura that has been playing the fall and the first tournament of the spring, it's really difficult for me because she usually is very confident in those tournaments. She wasn't very confident. So this is the Laura that I can look at her and say, like, you can do this. And she's like, yeah, I know I can. Um, so, again, and there wasn't live scoring, but if, you, if there were, you would have seen Laura was actually under par for every one of her rounds until the end. So, again, it still goes back to the fact that we're a really young team. It takes time for learning, and it takes some harder work. Um, as much as they hate hearing that from me, uh, you know, again, it is, it, golf is not easy. You can be this close, but still so far away. So putting in a little extra work and um, going out there so it doesn't get this close again and it actually happens. Yeah. A lot of our fans may notice that in that tournament, uh, we had six competitors, five of which representing the team, and then Jordan as an individual. But there's three sophomores and three freshmen. So it's really, you know, a, sort of a dichotomy. What are, to you, the benefits of having a young team maybe they're you know they're fresh and um you know have a lot to, of potential and then what are the challenges definitely with less experience and things like that it's a lot of fun to see them and how much they want it i mean i've really worked hard to recruit players that realize that this is game it's supposed to be fun but in order to get better at this game you have to put in extra work 20 hours a week is pff, it's nothing no good team in this country does that there's people on good teams that do it but no good team as a whole um the four that have come in this year have really put the effort forward you know they today one of them i was just talking to outside and we have practice from 1 to 4, and she said, do you think I need a tea time at Lakeview for after practice today? She's leaving practice to go practice more. That's what we need. So that is exciting. That is what I look for in recruits. I try and preach it to recruits, but that's, that's always a good thing. The challenge is, is, you know, we're leading after the second round down at the tournament, and they kind of all went to parents with their dinner – or dinner with their parents sure. that night and I'm getting texts from parents like yay they're so excited and I'm like okay we got to regroup because yeah it's exciting but it's round two like we got to make it happen so I said everyone needs to calm down this is a process like I want you to be excited I want you to enjoy this feeling but we also need to realize that we have one more day and I think they handled it much better than they did at FIU when we were in the lead and they did they realized you know we got one more day we got to keep keep going with the process so we're actually taking three freshmen and two sophomores to Ole Miss. So um, it's exciting to see where we could be. And the Elon coach and I had a conversation. He's like, man, you guys are young. You guys are going to be good in a couple of years. And that's exciting to me. Yeah, sure. So lots of, I would say, much more good than bad sure. for the young factor. Oh, yeah. Well, you have a chance to keep that momentum going. As you mentioned, you're headed down to uh, Ole Miss hosted tournament, the Rebel Intercollegiate. It begins on April 1st, uh, this upcoming Friday, I believe. So yeah. what do you hope to see out of that tournament? 
Um, I'm like a good solid top half of the field finish. I mean, it's an SEC event, but it's not the strongest SEC event. Um, but I think if we can get a good top half of the field, get us some good vibes going into conference, it's all about conference. I mean, really in the end, it comes down to, are we prepared? I think living in Harrisonburg, the further we get into our season, the more prepared we are. We can be outside. We can do more things to prepare. So I'm excited to see just building off of last week sure. and moving forward, getting ready for conference. Gotcha. Well, as the team gets their final tune-up before the conference championships, definitely stay tuned to jamiesports.com and at jmuwgolf on Twitter for all your updates. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks.